This assessment asks us the significance of the number 79.904 written underneath bromine on the periodic table. 79.904 is the weighted average atomic mass of bromine given the major isotopes of bromine and their natural isotopic abundance. If you were to take any individual bromine atom in the universe, it would not have the mass of 79.904. In fact, there are zero bromine atoms in the universe that have a mass of exactly 79.904 AMU. So how do we get that atomic mass that we call the weighted average atomic mass? Bromine has two major naturally occurring isotopes, bromine-79 and bromine-81, and they're both about equally abundant. Bromine-79 is a little bit more abundant at 50.69% of bromine in the universe, and bromine-81 is 49.31% of bromine in the universe. What that means is if you were to take a random scoop of bromine in the universe, 50.69% of those bromine atoms would be bromine-79, and 49.31% of those atoms would be bromine-81. None of them would have the mass of 79.904. But on average, if you take that scoop of bromine, the average mass of an average bromine atom is 79.904. How do we calculate that? We'll take the mass of each isotope, each major naturally occurring isotope. So bromine 79 has an actual mass of 79.918 AMU. And we multiply that by its isotopic abundance as a percentage. So 50% would be 0.5069. 50% of 79.918, and we take our actual mass for bromine-81, which is 80.916 AMU, and we multiply it by its uh, isotopic abundance, which is 49.31%. If we multiply 79.918 uh, AMU by its isotopic abundance and 80.91 by its isotopic abundance and add those together, the sum of these products is our weighted average atomic mass. That is the 79.904 AMU that we see on the periodic table. We take each individual mass, multiply it by its isotopic abundance, and we add those together to get the weighted average atomic mass for any given element on the periodic table.